Hi guys, welcome to the unboxing and full review of this Ule phone Orm X7 Rugged cell phone unlocked Android 10 quad core 16 gigabytes of ROM expansion supported uh, up to 128 gigabyte has a 13 megapixel and 5 megapixel dual camera has a 5 inch HD screen 4000 mAh battery 4G rugged smartphone orange design so it's listed for about $120 or so roughly on Amazon uh, comes with Prime and yeah I wanted to find out if this is a good value if this really works if we have to go into a higher price range to get something decent or if this is still a good phone uh, like for outdoor and so on so I'm going to take this thing out of the box you can see it comes very nice protected even though it's actually good protected phone so I'm taking out this off the box and I'm going to install a couple of different apps also of course I'm going to run benchmark test play a little bit around going to shoot pictures and videos and I'm going to show you everything so this is the box looks really good uh, nice yeah uh, really rocked uh, also from the pictures you can see the details as a quad core uh, core so the storage I mean is the RAM is 2 gigabytes of RAM it has 16 gigabytes of ROM I mean that's the thing which you can use to install apps has NFC and the full Google Play which is really important and it came fully sealed you can see I had to cut so it looks like it's brand new yeah they have also the website ulephone.com and it comes also with all these uh, numbers here like the email number and those things so it looks like it's fully legit and no scam and no cheat and no nothing so here we get it of course it doesn't have the highest specs of any kind of phone so the focus here is on a rocked phone and not on like high specs something which you can use for playing games i mean of course you can use that for playing games but maybe not the latest game so here we get the charger the good thing is it has standard USB A so we can use this for everything and here the charging cable it's uh, still a micro USB it's a little bit disappointing but uh, even on higher priced phones we still get uh, this micro USB also the charger is not very capable maximum output is just one amp that's not a lot but we don't have a huge uh, capacity with the battery here some of the uh, auto phones uh, these days have up to 8000 milliampere hours so it's not crazy impressive but but it has a nice look like really sturdy uh, thing here uh, really nice protection also this uh, look thing here this for the microphone probably uh, then we have the display uh, protection I mean a, a cover here which you can remove with also some information yeah looks looks really nice it, it, it is good in the hand I mean really secure especially on this side here I like this the on off here is on a nice uh, position here and the volume up down we can really feel that yeah really good and here we have the openings yeah, the opening here for the SIM cards really tough one so I really like that I have already had some rocked phone with something like that such a protector but not with such a heavy one you can see that's really thick here it's not just like a thin protection so it looks like it has really a nice protection then we get this thing here the problem the question is only how to get this out and the sim card in so i'm going to try that or maybe i'm going to read the instructions before we uh, are going to test the things instructions 
of the phone charging here yeah i'm not going to show you all the instructions all the information here in this video it's just too much and you can see i mean we have the website here so it shouldn't be too difficult to get all the information from the website so i'm just going to show you here a little bit what to expect from the instructions so you have this user manual here as well it's available in a lot of languages i'm not going to show you all these languages here yeah uh, but actually the english part is not so huge so it looks like it's pretty small so i think i can show you that so you can make a better buy decision or if you bought used or you lost your instructions what's really important here regarding the network support you can figure out if it's supporting your carrier or not that's uh, definitely really important here here's some uh, description of the case I'm going a little bit fast but uh, if you put it on the highest resolution and then pause on every page you should be able to have uh, enough time to read everything and here we are already on the spanish version and then yeah that's it actually here i guess we get more information than on the website so i'm going to fully charge read the manual and then we'll go from there since i want to show you as much as possible i go to show you the charge as well so here we have the usb of course the very button also makes a good impression here you have to just find out from which side you can pull that but looks like we can pull that from both sides we just have to make sure that we don't uh, destroy this thing but it looks like pretty sturdy and uh, yeah here we are so i'm going to plug this in here and let's see what we get yeah also already a uh, name and uh, mean the brand uh, but definitely no mobile uh, phone i like uh, no carrier brand and we can see already 87 percent charge that's pretty cool of course we don't have a home button here we just have these normal buttons here up down so we have to deal with that as for me it looks like just a sturdy phone inside and a very good case such a like this combination it says ip68 it's not uh, fully charged but i think it's good to go i couldn't wait to continue by the way here i'm using this also rugged power bank huge thing i can highly recommend that has even wireless charging and solar charging everything i'll put down the link to this one into the description as well so if you need the perfect outdoor package maybe this could be a co good combination for me it's the toughest thing here also something which really works with solar charging and wireless and really powerful so i'm unplugging it here i've been reading the instructions a little bit and i it looks like i was a little bit wrong here so it looks like it's not only any kind of cheap normal phone so it has a couple of dedicated things so, so i think it's really designed for uh, outdoor heavy usage and so on so we have uh, a couple of special things i mean we have the special protected openings but he here we have this custom uh, button here which we can set we have three uh, shortcuts which we can create like a uh, one press to open something or two times pressing and then create so or open something and then also three times and uh, this is also used to exit the camera here we have some uh, instructions that's really important if you plan to use that as an underwater camera which i think could be a good thing so of course they had to find a way to prevent some malfunction and while you're using the underwater camera here the screen is disabled so the only thing which you can use are these buttons here and then you have to have a way i mean up and down these are 
uh, the buttons which you use to record like photos and videos but then you need a button to exit this function and that's this custom button here for the underwater camera and yet it's the, a lot about this custom uh, key how to set up this thing it's a total different thing and also some glove patterns which can help if you are living like in cold environment and also what's really interesting here and that's the fingerprint sensor and this is something which you definitely won't have with just any normal phone within a really strong case good waterproof case this is something else so this is really a rock phone uh, a unique thing so uh, like a really different style of phones so if you are working outside or uh, something like that that could be definitely something for you yeah when you watch these corners here you can see uh, everything is well protected I mean of course the uh, top here is plastic uh, I don't know how well this is protected it's definitely not gorilla glass I expect that underneath there will be gorilla glass but the top like this case that's definitely not gorilla glass so it's just something on top of something so this is uh, why I was expecting something like just a case so let's turn it on and see what we get and check some settings and then I'm going to install the apps and show you a couple of things so here we are on first screen yeah we have to select everything uh, like language and connection and everything so I'm not going to connect it to the mobile network here so I'm going to skip that just connecting to Wi-Fi okay it's connected to the Wi-Fi wasn't too difficult looks like it's a good connection has uh, four bars what I've already noticed is that if I had to press uh, like keys outside so it was a little bit difficult I mean it was possible to do but I had to press sometimes two or three times so it looks like yeah it's definitely a different thing so the touch screen is probably I mean the distance there's a distance between the screen and the real touch screen so especially at the very outer edge here where there is more protection it's a little bit difficult to touch that I mean you have to know that you can really use that but it could be that it needs a little bit uh, more time to type so here it's uh, doing some updates of course I'm not going to show you everything here so I've set up my account here my Google account and I've I've also set up the fingerprint which was super easy much better than I was expecting I've also set up Google Assistant and everything worked really well so now I'm going to the settings and you can see the touch screen works really good much better than I was expecting so maybe that was just a problem at the beginning now since then everything works really good we have some settings maybe this can be important to you to see what kind of special settings we have especially this uh, special key on the side what i want to show you is the system here and the storage you can see here storage 41 percent used there is only 9.41 gigabytes of storage free for apps and photos and videos so it's definitely highly suggested to insert an additional uh, micro sd card you can add up to 180 128 gigs maybe even more sometimes they just put uh, some kind of limitation in here but 128 yeah I would definitely add something because 9.38 that's definitely not too much and especially for uh, videos and photos you can see that even better here 6.63 gigabytes used of 16 gigabytes so yeah there's no and you can see there's not even photos videos and so on here's something which could be really important about the phone here so name like phone name you can see it has two sim slots emergency information legal information yeah a lot of things here not going to show you everything what's important 
is the Android version and it says Android version 10 of course so that's really good and we also have full access to the Android Play Store so I've already installed the first app real important uh, application for me so here I have my a uh, bike light rear camera bike light which i'm using on my bike it has camera has the light C nice combination so i'm using this as a mirror and you can see here it's transmitting the pictures to the phone that's the idea here so i'm going to show you like this picture here and put this in front of the camera move this a little bit around and you can see it's in real time transmitting everything here nice and clear you can see uh, yeah uh, definitely I think that's gonna be working good as a mirror so I'm planning to use that at the moment so because my bike I wanted to have it like rugged waterproof everything so I'm when I'm in a rain shower so I can still use that and for me it has been working light right away so I've been downloading the app connecting to this Wi-Fi from the uh, bike camera and now I have it all ready so looks like uh, it's everything working really good I mean till now the uh, phone is responding really good uh, very responsive I ha didn't have any problems by the way of course something really important here is about the navigation so we have this uh, thing here on the left for the task manager and here the home screen and here back i don't know if you can change that at the moment i leave it like that so what i also want to do is to show you if we can uh, change or how easy it is to change like sim card and these things so we got this thing here which we have have to use to push in and then take this thing out maybe we can do a little bit more now it's a little bit stuck with uh, like pliers would be really helpful there's uh, something here like a flap which we could grab with pliers uh, yeah I'm a limit little bit limited I'm really uh, at the end I've been pushing here there's not more possible so here it's a little bit difficult to grab I think I'll grab a plier oh, let's see if you can grab this thing and pull out yeah so yeah <laughs> maybe it's the best solution like that with pliers uh, it shouldn't be like that but anyway we can see so just make sure that you don't rotate this thing and here's uh, something for the micro SD card I guess yeah that's the SIM card in the back here you have the micro SD card and I'm pushing this thing back here just make sure that it's properly aligned before you push it back here and it's also difficult a little bit to push back I think it snapped in somehow I was hearing something so I put it back and check on the memory card so here I'm in the storage thing and you can see here we still have the 7.91 gigabytes but here we see uh, there's the Samsung SD card inside and it's fully recognized so it looks like I'm good to go to install things and or use it for uh, photos and videos and if you want to know the settings how to set that in the camera so here we are yeah here the settings and the storage pause and we can select the SD card here and we are good to go to record a lot so here I am after one full day of testing I mean it was not a full day but I've been testing a lot yeah the Ule phone uh, Armor X7 uh, that's the phone which we are testing here and I've been also testing benchmark that's the Geekbench 5 uh, yeah unfortunately the on 22 is not available anymore so I'm testing with the Geekbench you can see the single score is 132 this is my Xiaomi Mi 8 Lite and it's a it's a really good uh, low-cost phone but it's a low-cost phone it's far away from the top phones uh, this one here the Armor X the Yule phone has a 133 single score this has already a 330 
and the top phones have uh, I think around 1000 uh, the multi-score is 442 here we have a multi-score of 1200 already which is about three times and the top phones like Samsung and Huawei and OnePlus and so on they have more than 3000 so uh, yeah <laughs> they are almost 10 times faster than this phone so don't expect too much regarding performance but actually it has been really doing good so i think the key is as long as you are not installing too many apps and uh, with too much ads and those things you should be definitely uh, perfectly fine i mean i i have changed a little bit to this a swipe uh, user interface so i got rid of this uh, key here you can set this so you can just have like the task manager here and you can have back here and those things so it's really nice it's working good and uh, texting everything has been working good responsive very well i've been trying a lot with the camera as well and it was okay i was, would say it's okay you can definitely make pictures it's quite responsive as you can see it's focusing uh, usually pretty uh, fast yeah sometimes you really have to push especially when you have close-ups you have to push here in the picture but if you have like normal things yeah it's no problem actually you can definitely do that uh, I don't see any problem so uh, the, the thing is just uh, the pictures I mean the quality is not so good I mean we can see the camera itself is not bad but uh, when we look at the picture yeah, by the way also regarding the things the modes here you have a night mode but that takes forever I think that it was taking about two seconds or so you almost need a tripod same thing with the HDR it's so super slow here it's crazy I'll put it down here so we can have a little bit a better view here uh, the video also one thing with the video there is absolutely no stabilization with the video maybe we can see that here uh, when we move this thing around you can see there's absolutely no stabilization and you can definitely feel that and uh, yeah if you are recording a lot of videos you will miss that you will, can definitely feel uh, yeah it has some pro modes which are nice also other things but I really haven't found any kind of stabilization that's really bad so where I have been using this phone the most is with this new uh, bike light uh, cam I mean that's a camera which you put in the back of your bike with the GoPro mount and then you have the camera and you have the light and it's recording for up to about five hours it's really good it's a really good camera uh, good quality footage and I've done this for about one hour so it has been recording everything so I had it mounted here with my bike mount I made this a little bit wider so I had it like this here uh, mounted whole time and it was transmitting then the picture uh, from the back of the bike so I had a, like a mirror and it was really doing good so the good thing is it's really bright we have also automatic brightness it was super bright outside there was absolutely no problem even uh, with full sunshine that's a really positive thing it has really bright screen i don't know how much but it hasn't been a problem at all that's really good and uh, yeah i mean yeah this is something which i really can recommend the uh, bike uh, thing and also this mount fitted perfectly it has nice brackets it has this uh, like asymmetric uh, mount or hold here really nice clamp here that's absolutely awesome I will put down all the links into the description because it's really unique it's really nice 
And the good thing is when you buy like a rocked phone like this one here, uh, even when it's mounted within the brackets here, it doesn't do crazy things. I mean, I had it a little bit on the side. I didn't have it on the power button here, but I had it here and I had it here even on the custom button, but it didn't do any crazy things. So you can really easily have it on the bike. I had it for one hour fully all the time running and I didn't have any problems at all so uh, that's also good like for biking so really good i can show you some images here the thing yeah what's also the case i hope you can see that here the uh, colors here in the video are really bad uh, i think this green is absolutely not accurate it's totally off here you can see a few images get a little go a little bit closer but maybe i hope you can see that here that's an hdr yeah that's not good quality that's really not good it's uh, just too much that's normal picture and it doesn't have a lot of dynamic range so when you want to go with the hdr it's not doing a good job and without it's also not doing a good job yeah sometimes it's really struggling i mean you can use that it's not totally bad i mean as long as you have like good uh light and so on but during especially during the night it has been doing a really bad job during the day i would say yeah, it's acceptable it's heavily mirroring but i think you still get the point so uh yeah when, when you want to make pictures in the dark it's just not turning out good usually there's just not uh, enough light on the lens i mean it's a little bit better than what you see here on this camera because it's uh, st really uh, mirroring a lot but the pictures are not really good here that's uh, like a dvc night mode that's much better but you have to wait for about two seconds or so yeah it's not too bad but still i mean of course it's not very sharp it has much more light than with the uh, night mode uh, but still it's not really good by the way here's some shots from yesterday i think and maybe you can see that here and uh, because there is no stabilization uh yeah it's shaking and shaking especially a little bit later you can see that it's difficult uh yeah it's just too much shaking so that's not so good I mean, this is not a bad picture. It's 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 better than what you see, but it's still. I mean, it's not really something which you will love in 2020. You can use it, but it's you won't love it. So this is uh, something from this uh, rear bike uh, camera recorded. That was uh, exactly the view I had. I mean, it was very late. It was already past sunset, and this is what I had. I mean. During the day it's much better, but it's still yeah, during the day it's much better, of course. It's uh, very dark here, but you still get the idea how this works with this uh, bike camera thing. Uh, this is a really nice thing. You, if you have that, so of course, yeah, if you hold your hand, you will see that in the camera. But it's, it, it's even much better than what you see here in this camera because, yeah, it's difficult to record the screen. Anyway. So of course for every rocked phone it's important to make a waterproof test and I've already done this outside with a water hose with a lot of pressure and it was a little bit difficult because the screen was totally mirroring. So there are a couple of things to say about that even though it is a rocked phone we have to be really careful that all the openings are properly closed here by the way yeah that what you hear that's not a bad microphone that's the ac running here it's florida yeah july the ac is almost whole time running and it's very loud here but i hope you can still understand me so here we have the usb here we have the headphone check and here you have the opening for all the cards sim cards and everything so you have to be careful make sure that everything is closed so nothing happens so and i've done this already yes outside with water hose a lot of pressure and as expected the screen was going crazy i mean even though we have like a 
extra screen on top maybe you can see that that's even like a screen protector on top of everything we can definitely feel that there's something on top of that uh, so there's probably probably the main screen then the screen of the housing then uh, something on top of that so a couple of layers good protection yeah as soon as we start uh, to pour water on top of that usually what happens the screen goes insane and it starts to open uh, yeah, a lot of things i'm not doing that too much it will uh, yeah, I'm stopping that so it usually starts doing like starting camera starting any apps and doing crazy things so we have to be really careful with that that's definitely something which is not working maybe it will work better we have some special like this easy launcher maybe that's something which works better but I haven't tried maybe that's something but usually really on the water the only thing which is really working is the camera so I have a Signed this button here I can long press it's the special uh, button when I long press now it should invoke the camera we have to do this uh, before we go into the water otherwise you cannot touch here and uh, yeah now it's activated uh, the only problem with that is I mean we just have these two buttons here which we can use to make pictures the only thing is the uh, only button which is still active is the fingerprint sensor for some reason maybe it's an error I don't know why but if you have assigned special functions to the fingerprint reader like a screenshot with long pressing here something like that you have to deactivate that otherwise it's making uh, constantly screenshots so that's a little bit that's something which i have learned but apart from that now the thing is ready you can see that hope you see that and we can use the volume up and down to make pictures and videos here you can see yeah i'm ha running water and you can see i can make one picture after another so pretty good you can see the uh, preview here so it's really making pictures really fast and i can press here to switch to the video mode and then press again and then it starts recording and there's nothing which will stop that so you can make pictures and videos on the water then i press again it will stop i can make go back to the photo uh, mode and make a, a images again so that's something which really works and then after that the only way to get rid of this mode is to press again this customizable button here so when i press short uh, it goes back into the main screen so we are back uh, for the final resume as you can see the screen is really responding really good you can scroll up and down we can also use uh, google maps google maps is a little bit slow i've been testing that of course it's still loading the maps but uh, it's definitely something which works which you can uh, where you can move around you have uh, gps like navigation and so on you can see it's uh, very nice uh, going around so no problem even with only two gigabytes of ram so here you can see one of my youtube videos and you can see that it's running really fluid uh, no lags no nothing but it took quite some time to load yeah this is what i was expecting of course with uh, such a phone it takes much longer to load but as uh, soon as it has been loading fully it's running as normal absolutely no problem and the sound is pretty good it's quite a good uh, speaker here i can uh, make that full sound Yeah, it's almost too much but uh, you can see it was uh, doing really good and also what I like here yeah, when we go back something which is almost crazy like the battery runtime yeah when you don't install too many things and uh, not having a lot of things uh, running in the background the battery almost lasts forever I have now all just the Google stuff couple of things which I have been installing and uh, I would say this battery 
would last like this just with a little bit of usage every day like a little bit texting a little bit of browsing it would probably last for a week like this this is crazy uh, how slow the battery is draining at least at the moment with all the options on i mean i'm not co connected to gsm but wi-fi everything gps everything turned on and by the way the uh, wi-fi connection is really really good i would say much better than a lot of other devices which i had here so far away from the route it has really good connection uh, yeah good screen and also really good microphone this is something which uh, impressed me really i didn't expect that in that case so here's something which i've been recording yesterday five test one two three four five you can hear that test one two three four five test one two three four five yeah the voice is definitely loud and clear absolutely no problem with that i was expecting that it will be difficult to understand because uh, yeah it's waterproof and then microphone has to be uh, protected but it does a, a really good job regarding microphone speaker everything so uh, i love this uh, really special functions here this special button which you can assign to special functions and we have also this easy launcher here well, it takes a little bit to start but then you have these things which you can maybe use uh, like with uh, gloves or so so i'm leaving that again but uh, there are a lot of helps also in the settings we also have an fm radio and we have this outdoor toolkit like compass gradient flashlight and and, and height meter and magnifier and so many things uh, which we have here and we have also uh, this gesture uh, functions here and uh, so many things and yeah i would say for 100 uh, 110 120 uh, around that uh, it's not a bad listing it's uh, surprisingly good i would say as long as you are not installing too many apps crazy apps and having them running uh, constantly in the background and you are not focused on really good pictures and videos this could be a really nice phone rugged phone outdoor phone for you uh, if you are a lot outside in the woods and so uh, working outside and uh, rain humidity and uh, those things and yeah, I'll put down uh, the link to this really nice phone into the description uh, down there so you can check it out, order it right from there if you like it and I hope I've been able to help you a little bit with this video. If you have any questions or comments just write to the comment section below and I'm always happy to talk about these things and if you like the video give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, thanks for watching and see you next time.